Hello, good morning. Welcome learners and welcome to our learning facilitators at home. Today we will be discussing about homeroom guidance for quarter three, module eight. And for our topic for this module is, let's find out together. Like, will you please read it again? Okay, very good. And for our lesson objectives at the end of this module, you are expected to first enumerate the different ways of solving problems concerning oneself and others. Second, cite skills and abilities in problem solving. And lastly, is to show appreciation of one's skills and abilities in solving problems concerning oneself and others. Okay, let's begin. You will experience different problems in school and at home. Bear this in mind. That the earlier you learn to solve your problems, the more ready you are to face bigger problems as you grow older. So, in our daily lives, we encounter problems. Uh, it's either at home or in school. But, if you surpass that problem, you will be able to be ready to encounter and face the bigger problems and to solve it eventually. In this module, you will learn the skills and different ways of solving problems concerning oneself and others. Okay, take note of the different ways of solving problems concerning to oneself and to others. Later on, we will discuss it. Okay, uh, let us read the story and answer the question on a sheet of paper. Let's try this. Uh, Mia was sad because she got a low score in her quiz. She was not able to study well last night because she watched her favorite TV show. Let us answer the processing questions. Answer the following questions. First, how would you feel if you were Mia? If ever that you were uh, in the situation of Mia, what will you feel? Okay. Number two, if you were Mia, what will you do if you were in that situation and why? Okay, you may share your answer to your uh, companion at home. Okay, and ask him or her if your answer is correct. Okay? Let us continue. What will you do with the problems below? Write the letter of your answer on a clean sheet of paper. Number one. Your younger siblings are fighting over the same toy. What will you do? Is it letter A? Will you ignore them? Or letter B? Will you tell them to take turns in playing with the same toy? Uh, write your answer on that paper. Write only the letter of your answer. Okay? Are you through? Okay, let us answer. Number one, the correct answer should be letter B. Will you tell them to take turns in playing with the same toy? Okay, in order for them to play, 
uh, the, the same toy. Don't ig ignore your younger siblings. Okay? Number two. Your pencil broke while answering your module. What will you do? Is it A, will you get your sharpener to sharpen your pencil? Or letter B, will you no longer answer the module because your pencil was broken? Is it A or B? Write the letter of your answer. Are you done? Uh, let's answer. And the correct answer is letter A. Will you get your sharpener to sharpen your pencil? If ever that your pencil is broken, uh, the correct way to solve your problem is to sharpen it in order for you to use it again. Uh, number three, you were hurt because your classmates accidentally pushed you while you were playing. A, will you get mad at your classmate and push him or her too? Or B, will you go to your teacher and ask him or her to help you go to the school clinic. Okay, write the letter of your answer on your paper. Is it A or B? Uh, did you already written your answer? Uh, let's check. And the correct answer is letter B. Will you go to your teacher and ask him or her to go or uh, to help you go to the school clinic? Okay, this is the correct response for your problem. To ask your teacher to assist you uh, to go to the school clinic. Uh, let us answer now the processing questions. Number one, what do you do when you have a problem? If ever that you encounter problem, what is the first thing that you do? Okay, tell me your answer. Okay, say your answer. That's great. Number two, to whom do you ask help if, if you have a problem? Okay, kindly enumerate uh, uh, two or three persons that whom you ask help. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, it's better that you ask help to your uh, parents or guardian or relatives that with you at home. And also, you may ask help with your teacher like me. If ever that you have problem with regards to school matter, you may ask your teacher, okay? And lastly, you may ask help to the elders, okay? Do you got the same answer? Okay, that's great. Uh, keep in mind that you will experience different problems as you grow older. Okay? That's part of our life, to encounter different problems. But if there's a problem, there's a solution. Okay? Ah, 
Here are three simple ways to solve your problems. First is to know your problem. Ah, you should know what is your problem first in order for you to solve your problem. Know your problem first. What is your problem? Okay. Second, think of what to do with your problems. Okay. Think of the possible solution of your problems. You may write your problems or you may write your solution to your problem in your paper. Okay. Or you may think it, think for your uh, problem and its solution. And lastly, is ask help. If you don't know what is the solution, you may ask help. Or if you have your solutions and you may ask help for an advice for your solution to the problem of yours. Okay, did you understand? Ah. Keep in mind also that learning the skills on how to solve your problem will make you happy and more confident. Okay? As you grow older, you will develop your skills in problem solving. And by this way, you will be uh, happy or happier and become more confident with yourself. Ah, for our activity, on a clean sheet of paper, solve the problem using the three simple steps. Okay, here is our problem. Your grandparents gave you a gift during your birthday. You were surprised and happy because it was the toy that you've been wanting to have. However, when your sibling or friend saw your toy, he or she kept on crying because he or she wants to have it too. So, what will you do to solve the problem? Okay, step one. Ah, write your answer here. Step two and step three. Okay? Did you understand? Okay. Now, fill in the appropriate word needed in solving problems concerning oneself and others. Number one, in solving your problem, you need to blank and be creative. Is it a think or find? Okay, say your answer. Okay, if your answer is think, that is the correct answer. Very good. Number two, you may also ask blank when you cannot solve your problem. Is it solutions or help? Okay, what is your answer? If it is help, correct. You may ask help when you cannot solve your problem. Number three, you will feel more blank when you solve your problems. Is it patient or confident? What is your answer? If your answer is 
confident? That is the correct answer. You will feel more confident when you solve your problem. Uh, now, let us share thoughts and feelings. You will just complete the following statements. Learning the skills in problem solving will make me blank. I feel blank when I can solve my own problem. Okay? You may read these uh, statements and complete it. Fill in the complete or uh, fill in the correct answer to complete the statement. Okay? Okay. Thank you for listening for our new lesson in Homeroom Guidance Module 8. Till next time, goodbye!